guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the current Dream Realm that is up, which of course we know is King Croker. So very cool. Now, unfortunately, with some of the heroes that we don't have in here, we're still looking to do more summons, but we have to make progression in here on a daily basis. So I wanna run through, show two kind of options that we have in here. Now, of course, like we've seen before, we have Corinne in here, we have Odie in here, we have Smokey in here, uh, Marley is here. So overall, the heroes that we see within here, and now this boss specifically, does do an insta-kill. So um, again, very similar to AFK Arena with Kane, it does an insta-kill. This is where Thorin comes in. Now Thorin, of course, is a number one priority in here because if Thorin dies, Thorin can actually reanimate. He comes back to life. Not only that is he does have some buffers, but looking at what we have here, I'm putting Kruger in here. Kruger, of course, is going to be the physical defense down. That is one of the really big reasons why players do run Kruger is the ability not only to do a little bit of damage, but the physical damage down is the big part of here. Now we're also running Odie in here. If you're familiar, this is one of the primary heroes to buy out of this shop is Odie. Now, as you continue to make him and kind of progress him a little bit further, he does get considerably stronger. Once you get to the point of getting that signature item, it does make a really, really big difference in here. Now we're also looking at putting Marley in here, which again, a hero that I'm kind of getting familiar with. Um, I just built him out, but you can see physical attack. Now they're attacking from a range where Odie and Mar are merrily, I, I don't know why I say Marley, but merrily will actually attack from a range, which is really strong in here. Now, most of the time we will put one of our upfront damage dealers, but unfortunately I don't have the Mauler um, Sh Shakir. Now you could use Seth in here. Now I'm not using Seth just for the rogue aspect. In here, I do put Cecilia, and the reason being, Cecilia is a physical damage dealer, so of course she is going to benefit for what Kruger is doing. And because I do have the hero built, that is one of the big things in here. Now, most players do run Rainier in here as well, which we know Rainier is the hero that um, is the hypo hero, and it is really one of the biggest priority heroes within AFK Journey. Now, of course, looking at some of the other heroes, <coughs> now looking at Brion, looking at a couple other ones, they are magic, so putting them together, putting the magic with the physical defense down that we do see of a couple other targets isn't going to be as effective as let's say putting in a hero like Valen that is going to have the physical damage, have the immunity. So I'm actually gonna drop him in and I could put um, Timisia in or Tem Timisia. Um, overall, seems to do pretty well. So I'm gonna run it with Valen right now and just see exactly how effective this is gonna be. So even looking at the build we have right here, because Kruger and Valen are gonna come right here and attack. I don't know if this is gonna be the most effective combination. Again, the tank, and even though she is a tank, um, Temisia, Temisia um, does an incredible amount of damage in a game mode. So let's run through here. And I also did put in the artifact in here. And again, we're gonna have to see if we can last the entire time because again, healing in here, most players have said not very important at all just due to the simple fact that um, you have the insta-kill. So, so when he's going in here and he's insta-killing and now this is the first time that we have fought this specific boss. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and kill him on this challenge mode, which is good. Boom, King Croker goes down just like that. Now let's look at the damage. This is something to absolutely keep in mind. So we can see pretty easy in here, pretty even. Now Valen in here kind of lacking on the damage, but overall with the, the physical damage reduction or the physical defense reduction that we get right there. Okay, so pretty good on there, but let's see. Boom, he goes down. Here comes the common two croaker. We're in the top 60%. Let's see what we can do with this one. And I seen the AOE, so I'm gonna try to spread these guys out just a little. Now Merrily is going to jump a couple of different places because we could also try putting in Leica, but I wanna see exactly what it's gonna look like. And honestly, at this point in AFK journey, um, you're gonna be going through a bunch of different heroes. You're gonna see and see, I, I think I might need someone to heal in here. We might have to put a healer in here if we're dying out pretty quick, like we just seen. Now there's the bubble on Valen, took Valen down pretty quick, which means, boom. Yeah, we, we got dropped pretty quick right in there. I'm thinking possibly dropping in a support hero which again, I'm gonna drop Valen out of here and see if we can make a big difference. This is where, again, you're just gonna kind of play around at this point. Let's drop Smokey in here. And the reason being, at this point in the game, you're only gonna have specific heroes and they're only gonna be built up to a very certain point. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get, um, there we go, a little bit of damage right there. Merrily hops around. Kruger, of course, 
boom, there's, and you can see uh, Smokey is taking damage. So Smokey is healing on a regular basis, which is what we wanted to. It's keeping Kruger alive, allowing him to actually throw the debuff, but there's the insta-kill. So boom, there's the AoE water, which okay, Smokey's still uh, keeping us alive. Doing a lot better on this attempt, which I like, having Smokey built up. And Smokey takes the insta-kill there. Again, this is where Thorn is gonna come in. This is where um, Veneer is gonna come in. A couple different heroes in here. We're doing pretty good, guys. That's 63, 64. Pretty decent on the damage right there. There's the insta-kill, which we know is gonna keep. So we had 23 seconds left. Still have some absolute room for improvement. But looking at the loot we're picking up in here, awesome. Look at that, 393 right there, which again, we know that Kruger's not gonna do a lot of damage. Merrily, 193, see, so not doing incredibly well. Let's see if we can keep the same formation, take Merrily, drop Merrily out, um, and let's try Leica. And I'm wondering, Leica, with the attack boost, with the little boost in there, and it might be, might be good to use our heal, but let's go ahead and drop and see what we do here. Of course, I believe Leica also does a little bit of that defense down that we see. I'm wondering where the damage is going to come in in this one. Physical defense down. And of course, Kruger goes down with that insta-kill. Smokey's keeping the healing up. Boom, there's the ult. And there's insta-kill on Smokey, just like we seen last time. Yeah, see, not, not as much. That's okay, because where did... Yeah, see, Leica came in almost no... Even having Leica built out a little bit higher, um, didn't really see the damage pulled from Leica. So even looking down here, let's try the tank. You know what? We said this earlier. Let's go ahead and drop the tank in here. And literally, the, the tank's just going to go back and forth. And of course, the tank does damage down. Um, there is no stun, unfortunately. But you can see literally just hopping around with the heal. And I'm almost hoping that, I, that the tank takes the insta-kill instead of Kruger. So we, and there we go. I think the tank took the insta-kill, which means that we can bring and keep Kruger up a little bit. So we're going to have the physical or the defense down for a little bit longer in there, which can really make the big difference, guys. This could be the difference to maximizing the damage in here. Kruger goes down right there. And again, have the AoE damage that... Smokey's just kind of healing through. There's the insta-kill for Odie. Yeah, th this is, again, just going to kind of have to um, get these heroes built up. But let's see what the tank did. So there's a new record. The tank pushed us over 70. And let's see, 59. See, not a lot of damage in there. We can continue. We can change this up a little bit. And see, so let's drop the tank out. Who do we have further down here? Physical damage. See, I think a hero like Iran, and he's magic. We have Sylvana in here. See, but I don't know about the rogues. It always seems like the rogues don't do very well. We could try Corinne in here. Let's see what he can do. And it's cool how he moves around the battlefield. It's actually pretty cool. Still so many heroes to pick up in this game. It, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, Kruger goes down early. Absolutely need to keep Kruger up a lot faster. But as we continue to progress, like I said, if we continue to get levels, continue to get more copies, um, Corinne went down, went down right there. And see, that was a big critical hit on Cecilia. So took it down right there. But overall, I mean... Taking out the boss the first time, dropping the boss the second time. Um, OD, we need to build up a little bit higher. Doing incredibly well. And of course, there is some overlap based on the gear that we have on these heroes. But I am pretty happy with how both of these are performing. That That is really cool. And of course, with the, the physical defense down that we're seeing with Kruger, it's going to work. We just have to get to the point where we're not dying as fast. And I think going in there, even counter um, constant, consistent attacks or constant attacks... And I think we have Walker. You know what? Let me drop in our boys and any AFK Arena fans here. Constant damage from Walker. He just walks up. And there you go. Shooting him with the shotgun right off the bat. We'll see what Walker can do in here. He's got the coin above his head. 
Maybe it'll make a big difference. Maybe this will be the, uh, and again, some of this is RNG. That's why you do get the multiple attempts in here. And it looks like he's unaffected right there from Walker. I think it's crowd control, which we know crowd control not going to affect the boss. Smokey again, keeping everyone alive here. Insta-kill goes on Walker. That's going to keep Smokey up. Usually that second one goes right on Smokey. He is still up. Smokey is almost out. Yeah, not, not going to be as effective right here, but still did pretty well in this one. Walker, again, not effective. We're going to have to continue to build him up. But I mean, we're almost to a million, so I'm pretty happy. We got over 70%, which was good. A little bit more, again, a couple more levels on here. We'll be able to completely finish this out. So, all right, guys, so that is going to do it for King Croker. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.